Hello from PV Magazine. We're here at the Quality Roundtable at SPI 2018. I'm joined by Dean Solon, who was on our recent panel that we had just here, talking about some real horror shows of failures that happen because basically when we get down to it of quality issues. Dean, you, you mentioned a lot of stupidity that you've seen going on out there. And just for the people who weren't able to be here and see it, for our, our viewers on the computer screen, what are the biggest issues that you see happening in terms of failures? Uh, can I hold this? Yeah. All right. So the biggest thing we're seeing right now is we thought we solved interconnecting MC connectors to Amphenol or MC to somebody else and not intermating connectors. Well, that's starting to surface all over again. So there's a lot of connectors on the back of modules that are made by we don't know who, and uh, we will not interconnect those balance of systems, but people are out there just taking that knockoff MC connector, connecting it to a real connector, and then those sites begin to flame up. The, the second thing we're seeing from a utility scale is connectors or harnesses or modules that are sitting in a PV field for an extended period of time. They're getting rained on, they're near the ground, so they're, they're getting soil um, and sand bounced up into the connectors. Algae grows in them, spiders grow in them, and then they're interconnected and poof, there goes that section of the field. So we're seeing a lot of really human stupid things being done in the connectors. The connectors are absolutely the most reliable product on the field, but when they're mishandled and misused, they're the most dangerous thing that's on that field. Absolutely. Thanks for your thoughts on this, Dean. Now, Dean, you you know, for Shoals, why are you guys here involved with the Quality Roundtable? Why are you guys, why is it important to have your voice foremost for your company? So, one of two things. One, it's kind of greedy, but the other side, it, it's to make sure things are going right. And from the greed side, I don't mean it to be greed all the way in, but what we're doing is we're having to replace hundreds of megawatts of EBOS that were installed on fields less than two years ago that are needing all new combiner boxes, all new wire harnesses, catching fire, thermal events, people want to call it. There's no such thing as a thermal event. It was a fire. And uh, that stuff is really just destroying a lot of PV fields from, again, stupidity and dumb, ignorant moves that th we thought were solved in the industry you know, five years ago, and re they've reared their little ugly heads once again. So what we're trying to do is pass the news on of what you're doing wrong as installers or people, module makers. One of the simplest things people, the module makers can do is put a dust cap on the end of their connectors. So if it's going to sit in that field for a month or two, it's not getting rain in it. Because once the rain hits that connector, it starts to build up an oxidation level. And then you intermate it, plug it in, even if it's MC to MC, you're now going to possibly have a joint that's going to overheat and catch fire. So just the simple, easy things that will take the reliability of the field through the roof. Cool. Well, thanks for being a voice in here and for educating people about some of these very highly avoidable failures. My pleasure. Glad you guys are doing it. The industry needs it. Thank you. Well, here we are at the Quality Roundtable at SPI 2018. Thank you, Dean.